Hello, it's Brendan from Tech Boys Ireland. Today we have the Now Light, which makes life, make light and power instantly. Typically, we download and install an app on our phone. We connect it up. We have Bluetooth, etc. And on this occasion, we're going back to old school, as in no connections, no mobile phone in question. And we do actually can use the phone in the background, but it's actually no power requirements other than natural use. Um, couple of things on the box here itself what's the whole idea of this this is the idea that you can plug this anywhere you like and whether it's using solar power manual power you can connect you can get light out and you can actually charge your phone as well which is without actually doing any plugging into your house charger that you'd normally typically have a couple of things in the box already pull the cord for instant power so you can actually pull the cord itself and that'll actually charge it carry it installed where you need it which is probably ideal for camping if you're out and about Powers multi device and charging devices, no power, generate instant power, USB to charge your phone. Um, and I have said you don't plug this into a mains charger, you can if you need to, but plug this particular unit up, um, pull the cord, and that will actually charge it. Press the power button to turn it off and on, and you have six different power levels. Hold the power button to turn off. Now light, satellite. So you can go now light, satellite, and solar power. Couple of other things there, uh, not totally waterproof there, and you have to go through the cautions. USB charging, you have the option if you want to charge it with a USB uh, standard typical. Six brightness levels, so when you press the buttons, you can go through six different options. Spread lights, so when you get the unit itself, you can have it like one light bulb comes with it. You can get additional ones there. You can merge multiple charging methods. You can manually charge, plug it into the mains or solar. Obviously, you can't do all three in one go. Um, the mains and the solar uses the same plug socket. And that's a quick idea what it does. Putting the power in your hand, we create versatile um, power sources. I suppose what actually you get when you purchase this. This would be what I would call the main nightlight unit there itself. Um, it just comes from the top. Just looks at the, the little hook on the back. So you can mount it, physically mount it on a connector comes with a little hook that you screw it to a timber shed say for example and put it down on the back you've got power button here and underneath it you've got a couple of different plugs one is for a usb type plug and um, you plug the light into it the other one is there for your charging and an additional one. also underneath difficult to see you've got a usb um plug there which allows you to plug your traditional um phone into charge itself We'll say for an additional phone, you would just plug that in as you would typically do and that'll charge your phone. Obviously you need some power on the unit itself. What comes with it is solar power. That's your typical solar power. Obviously when you're fitting that up, you wouldn't put it flat on the ground. You'd actually put it at an angle there. In my case, what I'm doing is putting it on the side of the shed and the side of the shed allows it to have an angle there at the moment so the water will run off if it gets splashed but also it'll catch the sun so ideally facing it towards the sunlight a couple of specifications on it there at the moment dimensions charging 3.7 volts 5 volts um one thing is ip34 rating that's quite important this is not waterproof so living in the uk and ireland you're going to get wet so it is splash proof but you wouldn't leave it out overnight to get soaking wet there at the moment the other thing to be careful with with the lead itself when the cable is running down um, and it's going in directly into the connection here you'd probably put a drip loop so when the water comes down if it does you put a little drip loop and coming in from the bottom so it'll plug in so that just plugs in here Um, connection is easy enough from there what you also get is what i would describe best way to describe it is a light bulb and it comes with another jack plug as well one thing interesting with this particular one is you plug the jack plug directly into here and that actually works like there one good thing in here as well is if you decide You've got one bulb, two bulbs, three bulbs, for example, you buy additional, this can come off. And what you do is you plug an additional plug in here. 
So what you can actually do is you can wire two, three, four, five of these in series. Obviously, the more that you have on, um, the more power it'll actually drain itself. Underneath itself, you've got your traditional, you've got your jack plug. So it comes with a lead that'll plug it directly in. So this is a traditional plug. You plug this in here. This could be plugged directly into your main charger. So if you, for example, were going camping out and about, you expect an electricity to be gone in an area, you could have this pre-charged in advance so you know what you're doing. Um, this would plug. And because this is a charger, this is going in here. So now we have it connected up for all intents and purposes. We have this and there. This strange cable. The idea of this is we plug it in and we pull this. This is a manual way of charge. Obviously, you would put it up on top to actually easier to pull it. Um, and this would be your lights. This is giving me an idea how to power rating. And I can turn on to different light settings. So there's six actually settings on this. And it can actually get quite bright, especially if you try it in the darkness, it'll show it. And again, you've got to what I would call the bulb, different settings. And when you're finished, you don't want to use it. You just basically hold the power button on the bottom to actually think. And it's the same here. So you just turn. So for the, all intents and purposes, it's an additional. And you can get up to 60 hours of light. Um, one second manual charging gives you about two minutes of light. So if you were just stuck somewhere else, just give that a few pulls. It's more important to pull it slowly and gently at the same speed um, for use. It also comes with a couple of other little clips. And that particular clip is the one that we use for screwed into a timber shed, for example. Hang it out and that plugs onto the back, giving you the hang up there. There's a couple of other labels I pulled off just telling you. This may or may not be connected, so it just hooks into there on the bottom and a couple of information there. And that's kind of the gist of a house, how it actually works. So I'm going to connect this in a shed outside. I'm going to connect it to the solar panel to the roof. Plug this in the shed and give a bit of a demo of it set up there. Thank you. The installation of the solar panel needs to be outside and obviously facing the facing the sun itself and obviously at an angle ideally it's perfect for corner of the shed we've we've now set the now light up <coughs> in the shed uh the one thing involvement on it is just actually put a screw into the wall into the timber frame hang that there there's no other complications in that the connection the lead is here so you just pull it on that um, we can see the power that's actually there so we could pull it connect it up before we connect up any more wires, we'll just have a look at the light itself. Um, to turn on the light, that's one setting. Um, there's different settings on There's five different settings. So we press it again and we get a bit brighter and bright. What you'll notice now is getting even the video itself, picture quality is beginning to drop um, as it's getting. And this is obviously fairly bright turned on and the max turned off again so there's five different settings that you can just go for use obviously the more you use it the higher the power the um darker it'll actually become so we've also got a bulb bulb itself the normal plug so we just plug this in as we would expect and plugging it in if this over now we'll just plug that in here i'm not going to be too tidy with the wires for the moment just throw them over and we'll hang it on there so now for all intensive purposes for all intensive purposes we have the light and we'll just turn this one off when you do turn it off you've got to go through the whole five settings before you can turn it off and for the bulb we just touch the button on the first light do it again and you can clearly see the now light logo it's visible um, and that's the idea how that actually works. When we want to charge it, for example, I'll just do this. So I'm pulling it consistently slow. 
at the same rate. R speed is, is not that important. It's more the consistency to charge it. The one caution I would suggest would be this particular cable hanging when you're actually if there's small children around um, is something that could be easily cut by a child, etc. So when not in use, possibly hang up, have it up, up fairly high, out of the way, because it is something that it's a dangly piece of cable plastic um, to ensure that they don't actually pull it off the, the dupe.